Welcome to another Lavery Library research tutorial. The three databases presented in this tutorial each hold scholarly articles and are an essential part of reviewing the literature. It often depends on the topic at hand as to which databases will be most helpful. It is important to search within a variety of databases as they each contain different sources. You can locate these three databases from the subject drop-down menu within the education selection of the Lavery Library Databases A to Z list. Sage Journals is a database through Sage Publishing, which is known for its scholarly publications. Searching within Sage Journals will work similarly to the other databases we have been looking at. Not all databases provide the option of searching for keywords within an abstract, but Sage Journals does. We can search for reading comprehension to be a term that we definitely want to show within the abstract. This way, I know that it is a prominent theme to the article at hand. This is a search strategy that I really like, especially if I'm receiving a very large number of results when searching as it will drastically narrow down the number of search results. I could get even more specific with my search by limiting a key term to the article title rather than limiting to the abstract. That would be getting very specific to have a specific word or term need to be included in an article's title to be able to show up on a results page. And I tend to only limit that much if I'm still getting thousands and thousands of results. Another helpful search strategy if you specifically want to find a study or original research can be to add study as a keyword and search for that within the abstract. If the abstract includes something about a study, the article itself is most likely a study or original research. These are some of the other databases that also include this feature of limiting to the abstract. You'll notice that Taylor and Francis is on this list and that's the database that we'll talk about next. Let's move on to the Taylor and Francis database. This is a database with all full text and scholarly articles. Taylor and Francis is a top go-to database of mine when it comes to scholarly research within the field of education. To search, add search boxes by clicking the addition sign to the right of the last search box. A recent update to the Taylor and Francis database is the ability to search for key terms within the abstract, like we just saw in Sage Journals. On the results page, there is a nice feature to be able to focus the results by subject. For instance, I might want to choose the education subject limiter here. Within this database, the green check mark indicates access to the full text of the article within Taylor and Francis. If there is not a green check mark, try using the Get It at Fisher link to access the full text through another database subscription. One aspect of the Taylor and Francis database that I find very valuable is once you're within the detailed record of an article. You'll see here on the left hand side a menu that is like a table of contents of your article's pieces. I can quickly and easily see whether or not this article includes original research, as I see sections included like methods and findings. Finally, this is the JSTOR search screen. Note, you will want to limit your item type to articles. And while search options do allow you to, the option to limit search terms to the abstract, it is not worth it in this database because about 90% of JSTOR's contacts do not index the abstract, so it will not work well. The strength of JSTOR is that it is all scholarly and all full text. The drawback to JSTOR is that often the most recently published articles by about one to three years are not available. This concludes the tutorial on the three databases, Sage Journals, Taylor & Francis, and JSTOR.